Mr. Pitchell open us up with a statement? Well, first off, give Louisville a lot of credit. Louisville was really good tonight. Uh, and we knew they were capable, capable of it. I know that's not the same Louisville team you all have seen play yet. Uh, when they make shots, when you make shots, um, changes everything. They made shots. They made timely shots. You know, look at the stats. There was momentum in that game. I think first half when we had an eight-point lead, they went zone. I think we had that second group in there. We had like four by ball turnovers in a row that led the baskets. It kind of changed a little bit of momentum of that game. Got the crowd into it. I'm sure it's the biggest crowd of the year. Uh, it gave them some energy. And there was, there was three shot clock opportunities in that first half where they got off, got the three off, but at the buzzer and made all three of them. That was kind of separation of the game. I look at the stats and we scored 48 points second half. You don't get 18 offense rebounds. I rebounded by 10, um, to 47%. We did enough offensively. We just couldn't stop him. Ellis was elite. He had 17 at halftime and um, responsible for four more of those threes, penetration, kicking out. Uh, we couldn't stay in front of him. He made shots. Goes left, he made those shots, not they all went. And then those other guys, who hadn't made them. I know Huntley was one for seven on a year. I know at halftime he was two for two. And the rest of those guys made it. So give them credit. Uh, they played really well. Um, I'm glad Kenny got a win so you guys can stay off of him. I uh, just wish it wasn't against us. You know, all give Kenny time. Uh, Kenny, will, Kenny will get this thing going. You know, his hands have been tied some here early. Um, but you all give him time. Get behind him. You know, he'll get some players up in the air, and um, when you when you break down film and watch them, Louisville does some good things. They run some good stuff, and I think he'd probably tell you he's probably simplified in the last couple games and done less and got more efficient from it by putting Ellis in a lot of center screens. So again, uh, disappointed that we couldn't come up here and win. We knew it was going to be difficult, uh, but. Again, like I said, Louisville tonight was exceptional. Questions? Questions? <laughs> uh, Coach, really good showing from the Hilltopper fans here in Louisville. Um, even in a loss, what is that kind of energy from uh, WK Faithful in your team? Well, it's always good. I mean, we had a bunch of people here. And one thing I'll say about our team, we got down second half. We never quit. We kept, we kept fighting. We kept battling. You know, for Jarius, again, I think 12 rebounds. Uh, 18 as a team. Uh, 11 in the second half, 11 offense rebounds. Now, Rita, and I'll rebound a fairly big athletic Louisville team by 10. Uh, that's, that's uh, as a coach, uh, there's no moral victories. Uh, but as we've said at halftime, just make sure when we leave, win or lose, just leave everything between the lines, and we did that. Coach, you talked about in that first half, the, the, the three-pointers that they were making. Yes. They were able to collect, collect the defense in, in order to get those wide-open threes. Was it just miscommunication on the court, or you know what was going on up there? Well, no miscommunication. It's just give them credit. Give them credit in making some shots. They've had them shots most of the year. Probably the last games, first game they made shots consistently. They made nine at Florida State. Basically the same way Ellis getting in that lane, kicking out. Before then, they had made no shots. Ellis hadn't gotten in the lane as much. Kenny made a good adjustment, getting him in those, getting that lane, create for people. You know, again, as I said, there's, there's nights that um, teams are going to be exceptional. And again, give some credit to Louisville now, because Louisville was really good tonight. That may be hard for some of y'all to do. Give them credit. Kenny did a great job getting that team ready and making some adjustments. Um, and again, they were exceptional tonight. Go ahead. Yeah. Can you share it all with uh, you? You stopped twice and talked to Kenny. Can you share it all? Anything you said to him? No, it's, I don't share everything, but hey, um, I'm proud that he got a win, just wasn't wanting to be against us. 
So you guys get off of him some up here. I didn't want him to beat us. I didn't want to be the first. But again, I've kept things in pers perspective with their team. Fans don't do that sometimes. They lost three games early in the year by one point. Could have and should have won all three of them. Everybody knows that. Kenny, Kenny wouldn't deny that. Outside that, his team was not ready to go to Maui this year and play that kind of competition. There's three teams, two top 25 teams. Then you open up with a Maryland and a Miami team back here at home, top 25 teams. So again, he's had a tough scheduling in that in that spot, and I'm sure uh, he didn't play in that schedule. Uh, his team at this point wasn't ready for it. His hands have been tied some in recruiting. Um, he'll get that turned around. And again, he's got good players right now. Those are good players. Coach, can you touch on uh, Jarius Hamilton's double double, twenty points, uh, twelve rebounds? Well, the biggest thing is uh, he played with a lot of toughness, a lot of heart. That's what he did. He never gave up. We got down, had to go small, put him at the five, and you know he was he was really good. He just played hard. Uh, he competed. Uh, he's he was competing in those huddles. Um, he was trying to give everybody else energy. And uh, again, disappointing with loss. Proud way those guys stay together and kept fighting. Yeah, coach, you had uh, you kind of hit on Ellis being a lead tonight. Uh, they ended up shooting over fifty percent. How much of that was him distributing, or how much of it was just you guys were maybe sagging a little bit defensively? Well, Noah's uh, for example, Huntley's one for seven on the year. I know he's two for two the first half. Making the second half, Huntley. They had some guys make some shots. And they were, again, those three first half were all shot clock. Shot clock at the end of shot clocks. Again, give them some credit. Uh, you know, I ain't gonna take anything away from them. Maybe we do some things better, absolutely. Uh, but you make shots like that, uh, it'll be hard to beat. Rick, I guess for your team, though, even though you didn't want this outcome and you just gave Bull a lot of credit, but I guess how do you, what do you say to your guys after a game like this just to make sure that their confidence stays high and they get ready because it's still, you know, full season to play? Well, listen, hey, it counts as one win, one loss. I guess it was Louisville. We knew how difficult it was going to be. Maybe you all didn't know. You didn't give Louisville enough credit. We didn't. Expect maybe a little shoot as well. We just knew they had a lot of talent. We knew they were very capable. And you're going to have moments. You're going to have moments. Like I said, when they play like that, if they're able to make shots, um, there are going to be a lot of people. You know, our guys, you know, we were down just 11 at halftime. Been a bad stretch in that first half. They made three timely threes. Um, biggest thing is, he came out to start that second half, hit us in the mouth again to go up 15, 16, 17. That's tough. But our guys then never laid down. We kept fighting. We kept grinding. Um, had some fouls that, you know, you wish you didn't have it in the shot clock. They go 19 for 20 in the foul line. Is that correct? Yeah. 19, 19 for 20 for there. Uh, so. Some things we didn't do as well as we need to do. Again, I ain't gonna take anything away from Louisville. Uh, Louisville was really good. Yeah, Ellis was elite, elite. And I had a pretty good guard on him. Had a guy on him most nights pretty good. Another question, got on. I got one. Uh, Coach, you talked, we talked about the six, seven, eight, nine guys this year. Uh, would you say those six, seven, eight, nine guys for Louisville was what, you know, one of the big differences in this game? Say it again, though. We talked about you know the six, seven, eight, and nine guys in the rotation this year uh, being big for Western. Would you say those six, seven, eight, and nine guys for Louisville will help make a big difference in this game for them tonight? Yes. Uh, yeah. I, by looking at all the stats, I don't know who they're. I know those first guys, those first five: Ellis, yeah, Ellis, guys. Weathers, Curry was good. Huntley. Those are all their leading scores. Had one guy off the bench. 
Lance played big for them. Trainer played big. Trainer has eight. Yellow guard at six. They got some good productivity off that bench. They did. It was really good, good for them. I think it all started with Ellis. Boy, Ellis, Ellis just got a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of different shots. Got the crowd into it. And again, when you're making threes, yeah, the motion it gives you, you know, defensively, is a cow's more than three points too. Were you all surprised that he shot the ball like that? Y'all seen him shoot like that all year? Again, it's going to happen. Give him credit. Give Kenny credit. Give Kenny. He got his team to shoot better than I did, so give Kenny credit. Anything else for Coach? Right, thank you. Good. Thank you. Coach. Yeah. Yeah. We've got uh, Jarius Hamilton and Davion McKnight for y'all in a second.